the, the idea was to look at the people, the institutions, the businesses that supported the apartheid government globally. You know, I've been coming to South Africa for a number of, of years, and uh, but I've also written about global lobbying and, and the anti-apartheid movement. And so I was in a conversation with a friend of mine here and, and mentioned to him that uh, I had found out that there were black Americans who lobby for the South African government. And he said, you know, it sounds like a book. And so <clears throat> about six years later, the book is here. Well, you know, I hope that it adds to the conversation uh, about the history of the anti-apartheid movement, both in South Africa and in the United States. You know, like any popular movement, there's always these myths about uh, movements. Like in the U.S., it's like all blacks supported the anti-apartheid movement, which is obviously not true. Um, and that with the the people in the apartheid government. Uh, their thing that well we were ending apartheid you know we just needed more time but uh, which, so I hope that people will look at that and say that uh, the story is much more complex than that the other thing and I think the most important thing is that what I learned in looking at in researching and writing this book is that people are people right so was it startling that there were black Americans who lobbied for the South African government? Yes. But at the end of the day, you know, blacks are just human beings just like anybody else. We have our good points, we have our bad points. And that's, I think, the lesson of the book to me. My experience in this book really is based mainly on the experiences I had in the 14 years in South Africa as, a, as the electoral commission. And later on, then I became the chair. Uh, the book uh, is uh, uh, sharing a lot of our experiences, not my experience only, of those of us who were managing elections in South Africa in the last 21 years. And the book really relates uh, those things that were great stories of joy, success, uh, like being able to create a voter's role for South Africa, for the first time in the history of our country, we had one register, as we call it, for all of us to understand, of all South Africans, young, old, urban, rural, those who can write, those who cannot write, that there was at least this one register that united everybody. That was one of the greatest excitements of our time. Well, I mean, it's, it's Firstly, it does look like a Coca-Cola logo. That's the first thing. <laughs>